I, I was like, I don't hear nothing, bro. Contrary to popular belief, I did shower today. Uh, I just didn't. I didn't doubt that you did or think that you did. Just but, to be clear. Um, I'd like to repeat a previous uh, statement that you all, you never smell bad. Well, thank you. Welcome to Not Conscious, everyone. Welcome to Not Conscious. Mark Welcome to Not nice. Smelling, everyone. <laughs> knocked clean, cleanliness. Yes. Buenvenidos de Knocked Conscious. Hello. Hola. How you been, man? Muy bien. Very good, E2. I think I'm doing all right, man. Yay. Thanks. Today is a December 2nd? Sure. 2020? You know what I saw today on the way over here? Middle of the cob. Yes. I saw a sign for to elect somebody to some office on the side of the road. I was going to have a conversation with you about doing a <sighs> podcast about can they clean up their fucking signs? <laughs> like, <laughs> right? That's exactly uh, what I was thinking. <laughs> elect President Dickface for sure. Because I, I saw, like, oh, I saw, mother I saw Marissa. Oh, she's so hot. In collectory. Did she? Uh, did she win? No, she got crushed. Really? Yeah, I think. I don't even know. She might have hit 40% possibly, but oh, that's, a cr- that's crushing. That's a crushing. For Anything years. less than 45%, I think. It's I think 55-45 is, is a double digit is a, is a bad defeat. Did you look up the definition of, the, of a crushing? A crushing. A crushing. Well, we can always look up. Don't, uh, I'm kidding, dude. Don't. Yeah, no. you totally wanted to do it. No, I did not. Fault, man. Yeah. I'm anyway. good. D- just so, yeah. So, not conscious. Just, don't just. <laughs> Skip over that. So we're shit. in the middle of Cove. It's December second, twenty twenty. Cove. We're just calling <laughs> the, the Cove. Cove now. It's like pretty soon it's going to be the C. Isn't that a? We can't. We talked. About, we yeah, had yeah, that yeah. conversation. Lin- the Cove. Um, no. Uh, let's take a look. Um, so we're in the middle of the Cove. Uh, I have been working from home. It's Wednesday. Yes. I was sent home Monday morning. Oh. Because some someone tested positive. Yeah. And with Thanksgiving last week, oh. uh, everyone sent home and someone else has at least some symptoms that it might be that also at work, Tambian. So, <laughs> so I'm working from home this week and then I call yeah. my madre yep. and my, uh, my niece has it. My niece tested positive. Three, three generations in that household, kind of like Italy. My brother lives there as well and my parents currently and... <laughs> That's probably a bad way to part time to say currently. But I asked my mom, I said, are you going to quarantine? She's like, no, you've been at whatever happens, happens. But then she shared that my dad was deathly ill, like the last three days, like uh, Thanksgiving, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But my dad is like, he has an apothecary at his house. Like he's got a hundred tincture bottles that he takes a drop of every morning. Wow. He takes like 5,200 pills. Like Joe Rogan talks about taking all the pills, like chewing them with, with meals. My dad, has him licked. I mean, drawers full, and he takes it every day. Vitamin D, vitamin C, all the stuff. So I think he probably had it, and actually, it ran through him that well because of he took all those supplements. That's my opinion. I'm not a doctor, so just a witch doctor. But so now we, I've got Cove touched now with work and with my personal life on both ends. But they're in, they're a thousand miles away from me, so the they're coves. definitely quarantined. Isn't there a movie called The Cove? I think there is with uh, dolphins. The beach. There's one called the Cove with the dolphins, where they where they rile up the rattle up the wrestle up the dolphins. Like it's it's awful. It's awful to watch that one. Uh, yeah, I I, I, did, I wasn't gonna watch it either way. Um, I did watch part of that. If I are you okay? Yeah. So we're in a. Do you have an emotional distress and mental anguish for watching the Cove? Um, it it was upsetting because of the what they do is they get it. It's worth a watch. It's a gentleman who's a documentarian. Documentarian. Document. A dude that makes documentaries. Yeah. But not, he doesn't have algorithms. Okay. The rhythm of Al Gore. Yes. You know why he had no rhythm? Because his wife banned parental lyrics. Because all the bad words. Because a twisted the, sister. Because <laughs> a twisted sister. <coughs> oh, man. That reminds me of the Billy Joel song. Only the good die young. It wasn't oh, allowed to be played like, on the radio. We're not going to take it. Well, that's not Billy I, Joel. That doesn't sound like Billy Joel to me at all. Damn it. Well, today is something I wanted to discuss because... I wanted to look at something in a very pragmatic and just trying to understand because you and I have talked about all these systems that are in place. Uh huh. And I came across a George Carlin bit about this and I'll put it up also in the liner notes about the 10 commandments. And it was fucking hilarious. 
And it made me go, hmm, hmm. let me reevaluate each and every one of these. Because, and I started to read, and the overall impression, spoiler alert, everybody, it seems to be one of the earlier systems that was out there uh, for control. So I was going to go through some of those, go the history of it, and just discuss them one by one. I'm not one, how much do we talk about people's faith and accepting people's faith for what they want? We're not here to change anyone's mind, but it's interesting. Yes. Okay. Anything you'd like Good to talk. add before we get started on that, sir? Um, now that I think about it, no. What? <laughs> Uh, go uh, team. When you think about it, that's when stuff comes go out. Te- I did also hear the Carlin bit, and it's hysterical. And he's right. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to reiterate: it's not an attack on someone's personal beliefs or someone's faith. It's it. It's more about can each of us look objectively at something and then question? Hey, like, why is something that's what is it thirty three hundred years old, thirty three fifty years old, something that? we still base so much of our lives on. You know what I mean? Agreed. You almost cracked your Czech Republic mug, dude. I did. I was like, I can't let my chick go crack. I must cash my chick. Yes. Um, to that, to that point. Yeah. Like I said, your, your faith, you know, if you're, if you have a faith system that goes along with the 10 commandments, then that's your faith system. There's nothing wrong with that. We, we are cool with that. However, you and I tend to be trend buckers, or we don't tend to go with the flow very often. We tend to go against the green. It costs us in some ways in socially or professionally or in our lives. Would you agree? Uh, sometimes? I, yes. <laughs> I think. I would totally, there. totally, completely agree to the point where it's almost, I take it personal because... I, I try to look at things and I try to explain my point of view to somebody else and they look at me like I'm crazy. And then they think that I I think they're being blinded by a way and I try to explain it differently using logic and it completely is just like, I, we can't even have a conversation. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I just wanted to have a civil discourse, which no, no. <laughs> Right. Does that answer your question? It does, actually. It answers it very well because, we once again, faith is that one thing that I think I'm beginning to see that I lack. You, you, didn't, you didn't think you... <clears throat> me, 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 me. So, uh, sir, Excuse the uh, frog in my uh, throat. M- m- Mr. Carlton uh, in the, in the, in the back, You didn't think you lacked faith before today? No. And what? maybe not hit so hard, sir. Oh, you, sorry. That, was that... that does get picked up on the on the microphone. Oh, you I thought you meant the question. Bitch. No. I mean, I thought oh, you, sh- I didn't mention it this time. You hit me so well, hard, I hit bro. the wrong button, so I was I over I was overcompensating. So you can, you can I'm be so more, sorry. Much more strokey gentle. Oh, you well, okay. You weirdo. Um No, I know that, but I it's just the more and more I try to come from a side of pragmatism or non-emotion and the more emotional the other side gets when I bring up the non-emotion it really is all faith and I lack all the faith because I I've had an experience myself that's very I would consider very spiritual because we haven't explained it yet okay? but and you since then I've had experience believe in that because you saw it with your own Correct. eyes i had my burning bush moment so you are doubting thomas the as well bu- right the bush caught on fire in front of me and started speaking to me i i took notes whatever that was for me yes okay yes. i i don't i still don't put that consciousness on it but it was there how whatever that experience was so once again we're here we we admire we admire people's faith and everything and we ask that you would engage on this tell us your thoughts about each one whether A, what they represent, B, whether they're even necessary, and C, how we can apply them to our lives. Yes. Whoa, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. See it? I much? like smacking it. I know. But and it, flip it or rub it down. Oh, what? Because every time you hear. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, anyway, so Ten Commandments. Can you give us a little background on Ten Commandments, approximately when it was written and all this stuff, how it came? You are the theologian of this group because you've read the Bible to, to, 
two times, two times, <laughs> two Tambian. Um, tell me, tell us about the, tell us about these Ten Commandments. Uh, ten Commandments. Tell me what they've won. Uh, first of all, there's ten. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, no, it's I don't too easy. Low hanging fruit, bro. No, I get it. Ten it's of too them. Easy. Got it. The uh, Ten Commandments s- contain ten of them. Yes. The second thing that I I was reading yesterday I found interesting was that for a long time and in many other languages, it's not commandments. It's verses. It's other words. So the word commandment to me is very heavy and strong and you don't fuck with that shit. It's a commandment. It's a, it's a yes, no question. It's true, false. There's no deviation from that, right? There's no wiggle room. I didn't know that about the, it being in verses versus commandments. I've always heard them called the commandments, to your point. Yeah. There's, there's teeth to the word commandment. Yes. I command you. Yes. The original translation from what I read yesterday is, it's not the Ten Commandments, it's a covenant with God. So the, they, they took the word covenant and f- f- zhuzhed it, however you want to say it. What does, that, what does covenant mean? It means a, an agreement. Okay. I had to look that up too. Because it's the ark. It was put in the ark. Weren't the tablets put in the ark of yes, the, the ark covenant. of the covenant? Correct. So that's it's a covenant with God, meaning an agreement. So like a contract, basically. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a contract with the chosen people, the Israelites, led by Moses. Uh, Moses lived somewhere between fourteen hundred and thirteen hundred BC or BCE, the new one. I don't know before Common Era. Yeah. Or before Christ, depending Bef- yeah. upon it, how old you are. And, you know, I know B.C. and A.D., that's easy, whatever. Because you're not an archivist. Uh, is, is that what it is? Archivist. I. You just made that up? Because it no, no, no. sounds pretty badass. No, it's pretty cool. Archivists, archivists work with data, so the archivists are now familiar with B.C.E. because that's the new lingo. Oh, okay. It's just the non, it's a non-secular lingo. Okay. Or, or no, it's the secular lingo. Isn't that weird? It's like no fiction and non-fiction. Dude, you're making my fucking brain hurt, man. We well, you know how fiction is not real. I but do. Nonfiction is real. So why not call one? Why not be real and not real versus real fiction and, fake? and nonfiction? Fiction yeah. and real, or just yeah, or real and not real. Because why? Why have it nonfiction? It's like a double negative. It's non-fake Dude, or non-real. My brain hurts, bro. Non. I totally yeah. see what you're saying. As <laughs> dumb as this fake. conversation is, I know it's dumb. <laughs> but that was, that's how my brain works, man. Really <laughs> dumbly, <laughs> dumbly, like you know. To continue on, uh, Moses freed the Jewish people from Egypt, where they were slaves, and he led them across the desert for 40 years to Israel, the Promised Land. And during that time, he was given the Ten Commandments by God, according to the Bible, uh, on Mount Sinai. And I'd like to refer back to the most amazing movie, History of the World Part 1 where Mel Brooks played Moses, and he said, I give you the 15, 10 commandments. 10. Because that's amazing. That is amazing. Tell me, sir, um, because once again, I am, I'm, I I don't talk about this from a historical perspective. I talk about it when I read them and what it makes me feel, right? Because that's how, that's how I'm going. I do, I do like some historical fill in. How soon after, like, where is Mount Sinai and when was this at the end of the journey? No. Or was there a time uh, I, I in between? I don't know. It, it's, from what I read, it said just outside of the Jordan. I assume that means the Jordan River, I would guess not it. the country Jordan, from the way it was worded. It referenced that several times. The River Jordan would make a lot more sense because you travel along the river back in the day because you'd always have... Fresh water. Right. So, And I don't know where exactly that is. But, and I don't know where, you know, I didn't read specifically where in the journey they received these. Yeah. And I just look up Mount Sinai and we can totally find that out. Um, it's probably, That's yeah. That's probably how that works. It shouldn't be so, too tough, So, right? Mount Sinai is uh, Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. So, it was still in Egypt at the time. There you go. So, maybe on the way out. They were so. exiting. I have another question <laughs> for you. Exodus. Yes, sir. Why is it that... The first book of the Bible, Genesis, is a classic rock band, but the second book of the Bible, Exodus, is a thrash metal band. Or a Bob Marley song. Whoa. Movement of Ja people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rada. You got to listen to Bob Marley. Because I love Exodus. 
But uh, Genesis is okay. I mean, Land of Confusion and I like, I like some Genesis. other jams. But I'm Exodus freaking rocks, bro. Genesis launched two of the best solo people. True. I mean, I mean yes. arguably Peter Gabriel's so Phil album Collins, and yeah. Phil Collins are... Yes, absolutely. They're up there. Yeah. Yeah. They're enjoyable. Totally. I, you're going to have to share Exodus to me. <laughs> you don't want to know, dude. <laughs> Everyone's doing the Toxic <laughs> Waltz. That's their, that's their hit. Toxic walls. That yeah. sounds like fun. They uh, Does it, is it on a three beat? Is it like a um pa pa? Yeah, it's a it's a metal polka, bro. Nice. The interesting part about Exodus is that Metallica stole a guitar player from them, and then uh, Slayer took a guitar player from them as well. Hey, Striper, new album? I know. I'm so excited. Did I? You did. So I just. <laughs> That's just, totally not. We're beer googling right now, but no, we're not. Uh, Go. So anyway, Mount Sinai yeah. is in Egypt. Uh, uh, Allegedly, apparently it is. Yes, not allegedly so, it is. Uh, anyway, and that's where uh, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to give to the people. The the story. Let's break the story down. From my understanding, the story is he climbed the mountain. I, there were they were worshiping shit down at the bottom of the mountain. He climbed up the mountain, or no, he climbed up the mountain. Said God needs to talk to him to give him these things. He comes down and finds these people. Like worshiping, worshiping some god. He doesn't he already have tablets? He destroys those and then goes back up. Something like that. I know that he was up on the mountain for forty days, according to the Bible. There's a big number with forty. Though. Forty it's, and seven, obviously thing. big numbers. Yeah. Um, but then he comes down after forty days, and he see he sees that the Israelites have created uh, a golden calf that they're worshiping, and he gets really upset. And that's, I believe, and I'm, I'd have to re, I read it yesterday. Kind of probably should have worked on my memory skills after that too. It's okay, man. Hey, bro. So you should play that game memory. That's what? fine. Like I'll, I'll take the one in the top right corner and okay, the, the yeah. one right in the middle. That's awesome. Anyway, so you were reading. Boom. Uh, yes, I read the Bible yesterday, dude. Yeah. I read Exodus I and I read Deuteronomy. It was awesome. So I can't even say Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. De Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. No, no, mix the N and the M's, man. Deuteronomy. 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 Deuteron. We're going to skip that and move along. Think of Deuteron Ron. Deuteron Ron. Deuteron Ron. Deuteron Ron. Deuteron Ron. Oh. So. What was the point? Yeah, he went up and he got the stuff. Okay. However, he went back up. He went and the Or however, did he just destroy the calf and get all pissed off or something? I don't know the details on the calf, but I do. I did read that. God came down to the top of the mountain as dark clouds and thunder and lightning, and the people, the Israelites did witness that. So it wasn't just Moses up on the top of the mountain alone, but he, the the clouds did speak to the people as God. Per the story. Per the story. Per the Bible. Per the book of Exodus, yes, sir. That's correct. So the clouds spoke to them, but when they say spoke, once again, we have to take no account spoken could be the thunder well they he, right like sure just like god took a leak on them he it's the rain uh, I'm, I'm sorry kidding. what book crying. is that deuteronomy <laughs> that was doo deuteronomy <laughs> 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 well i'm just once again it's kind of like the flying chariot right chariot of fire or whatever it could be a spaceship back in the day right but they knew they knew it was a flying chariot because that was their transportation that was the way they yeah do, you know what i'm saying like lost yeah. if it's lost in translation i'm I'm not saying that is or isn't. No, I'm just I agree, but I mean, you could. That's not. That's a different conversation. Right. Right. So I'm. Yeah. Absolutely. We can. We should talk about that sometime. Yeah. Sometime. We need a notepad of all the times we say we should do a podcast about that. You because know, we say that twice. We say that a fucking so many episode, times, yeah. and then we never. We go. What was? I forgot what we said, and then and then you we know. only listen to it once, and yeah. we only listen to it when it comes out, and then I forget it two milliseconds after I hear it. So. So let, would you like to get started? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to break down each of the 10. I'm just going to read them the way I see them. If you have a better version, let me know. I don't. You know them. Okay. I'll just pull that up. Do you want me to plug it in so you can see it or? Uh, no, I don't give okay. a shit. Uh, so what are you reading from? I'm reading just one of these wiki pages. Okay. Um, or just one of these. One of It looked like the most accurate verbiage, like in a very basic way, because it's kind of like, it reminds me of the Bill of Rights. Where the bill rights were very simply written, yeah, and designed to be kind of ambiguous in some ways. Okay. So the number one, I am the Lord thy God; thou shalt have no other gods before me. 
So number one comes through. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. Yeah. Next. So, well, well, let's talk about this one. Let's okay. let's break it down. Break it down. Well, why is that I, necessary? Don't you think that that's directly related to the fact that there was a calf, a golden calf there? Yeah. And it said, "Hey, dipshits, don't worship the golden calves or anything else. I'm the only one." Right, and that's where number two comes in too. But in this case, this reminds me of like the first set of controls. We have a man who's a leader who goes up alone and comes down with something that says the guy whose ear I have and only me, right? The guy who talks to me and no one else really, basically the guy who talks to me and told me these things told me he's your guy, Moses. So you have, well, God is your God. So you have to go through me for everything to get to God. So I'm going to create verbiage that says, the I'm your only God, not I am, but God is, but because Moses is the only one that can speak to him, Moses becomes de facto God, right? On earth, because he's the one to whom everyone has to go to get God's ear. Uh, yes. Okay. Any other thoughts on, on that one? Um, well, I, I think you should clarify when you say, a system in place to control people. So I know what you mean, but somebody that may be listening for the first time, what, what, what are you, what are you specifically talking about? Yeah. So any, anything that would put you in line. So you have to abide by someone else's rules is kind of a system of control. Um, we've talked about it. I mean, government has some controls in place, but our government's changed over the time. It wasn't supposed to have the power. It kind of does now wasn't really designed that way. Um, yeah. It was designed to be a lot more free, right? But yeah. basically anything that can make you do something you don't, you know, make you do something, really force you to do something and kind of own you in a way, kind of can tell you what to do and how to do it and when to do it, right? I'm Moses. There's no other God than the one that I talk to. So if I tell you something, I just tell you that it came from God and that's your only God. And you have to trust that. And you have to trust that. And you have to believe that. Right. Okay. So he comes down with this thing that says, the God that, my God, is your only God. The one that my talks God to me. My God is your only God. Yeah. God just told me that to tell he's, you. Yeah, that there's no other ones out there. It's just me. But I'm the only one who can talk to him. So guess what? Guess what that means? That means that I can tell you that God told me to tell you to go plow that field or to pick those berries or to kill that person or to do whatever. I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ha hasn't that been the case with many religions since the dawn of humanity? Yeah, I would agree. This is one of the first... I don't know if this is one of the first documented religions, though. Like, e even though Egyptians had, you know, they had many gods, right? And the Greeks had many yes. gods and, and whatnot. Very polytheistic. Uh, the Romans were also very polytheistic. Um, having many gods, they didn't ever have decrees. They just used gods to explain things that were going on around they them. They didn't have decrees. They like, just it's used not like God to told, like Zeus told you to do something. That would never, like Aphrodite never told anyone what to do. Aphrodite was just, you know, one of the gods. They just made sacrifices to them and prayed to them that they would have good fortune? Right. I would guess. Okay. But the, but they never, it's not like, hi. That's a terrible picture. Um, it's, in my, from my estimation, it's not like they, they use that to bring, like, laws and control down on you. Understood. Right. So, anyway. So once again, I am Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other gods for me. In my opinion, that one's manufactured by Moses because he claimed he was the only one who could speak to God. It reminds me very much of Joseph Smith. Even though God was heard by the people through the cloud. That yes, per that story, that could have happened. I I don't know if there were words uttered. But hearing it could have, in my opinion, could have been just thunder. Well, if you're a believer of Christianity or Judaism, 
then it, that did happen. According to the Bible, according to the Old Testament, which is in both of those faiths, that happened. Do you know how long that was spoken before that was written down, Deuteronomy? Or was it written down as is? No, no idea. Curious, right? Yeah. I wonder if, how quickly the story can change. I don't even know who wrote, those, who wrote the Old Testament. So I probably should have looked that up. Man, you read this thing twice, bro. Yeah, but I was like 15. I know. And then it was a test on Friday. And then once I took that test, I forgot those chapters and I just had to worry about the next chapters. And then, you know, you just flush it. Right. A fl- whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so much I information have, I can retain, I bro. A, I don't have a flushing. Oh, bag. you do need one. Um. So that one. So last final thoughts on that. Because you're you're claiming God did speak to the people, so According there was God. According to the book, yes. Yes, per the book, so that happened. I, I, I don't have, there's not much evidence from my side to, to show what that interaction was, whether it was just the sound of thunder or whether it was actually like, I am God, listen to this guy coming down the hill with these things. Right? Yes. I feel like if, if God said that, they would have written that down. That's just my opinion. Because it would be worthy of writing down. Yeah, 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 I would think so. Right. Just like when the burnt when the bush caught on fire and spoke to Moses, he told him things, right? Yeah. And then he wrote those down. So, anyway, number two. Next. Number dos. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. This is where that golden calf I think came in. Agreed. My I lo- dude, can I tell you something? I love graven images. Me too. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds cool. Great. I like engraving things. <laughs> well, you got tats, bro. It Whoa. looks like you're graven. Can you I show totally your graven boom. side? Graven images. Show, oh. There you go. What's up, um, Edward? Boom. I read a little bit more into this and what they meant by graven images. And it was like worshiping anything. So like a sports car, oh. you know, your clothes, your jewelry. So it's anything. It, it does go into the false idol thing as well, which is what I think happened, he came down, he sees these motherfuckers. They're all dancing around a golden cap. He's like, oh shit, I gotta get, I gotta take this, I gotta take control of this situation. Yeah. So I'll just write another thing in here. The, you're, this is the only God, the, the God I talk to is the only one that exists. Number two, you can't have anybody else either. You can't worship anybody but that. So yeah, like, let me, I'm nipping this in the bud right now to get one line in, one line in place. That just seems to me like pretty almost dictator like personally i also read that for about the first 900 year until the year 900 ad or whatever the other one is i forget um bc no oh, uh bc or ce ce a d b c bce, A-D-B-C- B-C-E uh, and ce uh, i need to work on my shit dude so they the people in power and and both governmentally and religiously they took that commandment to mean you shall have no image with the likeness of jesus or of god so when people made those images to worship or to pay homage to etc other people would destroy those Im- would destroy the statues or the paintings uh-huh. so that for a couple hundred years between about 700 900 a.d that they, these the factions, dark ages almost. Yeah, yeah. Pre-dark ages, sure. Pre, Whatever. Right after, I mean, it's when Rome fell, right? When the Rome dark fell ages. 450, so yeah. So this but probably all over would have been Europe, before mid- I mean, yeah, it was before. obviously this, the massive spread of Christianity, but these factions went back and forth on whether or not you can have a statue of Jesus or you can have a statue of Mary or whatever your saint of choices or whatever it is, right? So they so interpreted it differently. They interpret it as you shall have no graven images, meaning you can't even have a statue of the god or the your G- jesus or whoever your person of choice is right so they went back and forth until finally there was a, a it was convened that it was okay to have that statue of jesus but not a statue of god that was the christian god that was a compromise but it was decided right around 900 a.d so which is funny that the dark ages yeah but then from 400 to 1400 there you go that's a long a thousand, thousand years. years of fucking craziness. so but and it was right smack dab in the middle of that correct 900. okay um what's right away i thought of how in islam you you can't have an image of muhammad so it's it's this and that that article referenced that and as well as another article that 
talked about the same thing. I read two articles about it, basically, about this commandment. And it said the same thing, where still today you can't do that in the you know the Muslim faith. So they, they've they taken that still to 2020. Where they've taken that to kill people correct. Tw- up to 2020. I mean, you can look at my favorite show, South Park, where they were going to do a... They were going to do a show on Muslims, and they were going to show Muhammad, and the creators of the show got death threats. All right, but you can look at Charlie as well in France, right? The twelve people got killed the, from the cartoonist in France. Did you not hear Charlie? The, yeah, the 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 cart. The, it was Char. Oh, you're going to make me. No, it's fine. What year was that? It was only a few years ago. It was recently, right? Yeah, I heard about it, but I don't know the name. I don't know why Charlie. Charlie Hebdo. Okay, That's sure. That's what it was. It's a Charlie Hebdo cartoon. It had a picture of Muhammad. Guy okay. goes in there, guns down the place, kill. I think kills yeah. twelve people. Yeah, so that you Charlie can see Hebdo that the name of the place. that the this the commandments. 2015, 7th of January. You, know, you can see ago. how the commandments Six. have altered other faiths as well. You know what I mean? That's that's has got a, a really strong foothold in the Muslim communities, and that's very dear to them and you know i i I admire the shit out of that if that's what they believe that's cool that's great i mean muhammad isn't god though muhammad it's just a prophet he is a prophet correct but 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 it's a holy prophet right well according to the jews jesus was just a prophet as well yes but you can have images of jesus what i find interesting about this it felt like coming out of commandment number one no other gods. Well, no other graven images would be no other besides mine. Yeah. So I, I don't understand how, how that would get that twisted yeah. to be you can't even have. You would think you'd want your God, the God, in your, your dude, house yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can see them all the time. They're always watching you. You can be you can worship them at any time. Yeah. That's just my opinion. I don't I don't ha- any thought on how that changed uh, or why well, that Well, if you look at it, I mean this the the across Europe the, the factions going back and forth that was 700 years after Christ. So, you know, that was seven, that was 2,000 years after the Ten Commandments were given to Moses. So, of course, interpretation's different. You know, you're talking 700 years after Jesus lived, the, 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 the Roman Empire is long gone, right? So it's a completely different way of life, and there's new innovations, and people had different kinds of paper, and all well, these other... that's why it's the Dark Ages, though, because they lost everything. The the, the oh. library's bird and everything went to shit. It Boop. wasn't until the Middle Ages that was the, the Age of Enlightenment again. Well, maybe that's era. what it is. Maybe that's why they went back and forth. The, right. I mean, it just, it went dark. Whoa. It literally went dark because it, all, a lot of knowledge got swallowed up in the loss of Rome, in, in the fall of Rome. It seemed like that almost had spearheaded that. It's really interesting. I mean, it's just fascinating to me. So um, anything else about the graven images. Nope. All right. That was easy. It's like the staples button. We have, I have one somewhere. The, uh, no, please not, not here. Oh, okay. Number three. Go. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord, thy God in vain. God's damn it. God's damn. So. <laughs> uh, isn't that kind of self-explanatory? I, I guess, but does it mean the way we've always taught it meant? Okay, well, if it doesn't mean that, what does it mean? No, well, how, how do you interpret it meaning is my question. Don't say God damn it. Right, don't, don't swear using the word God in it and stuff like that, right? Yeah, don't use his name in vain. Don't say God damn it. That's how I interpret it. Yeah, but you it. can't also say, oh my God. Oh, poop. Jesus Christ, you can't say that either. You see what I'm saying? Judas, do you want super salad? God damn it kind of makes sense to not say god damn it because you're damn you're trying to damn god at that point you're saying god damn it you you bastard you fucked me you made me fumble on the one yard line you hate our team yeah it's all god's fault because right? the patriots lost bro right that is one way right but the other one is also saying like jesus christ or oh my god because you're comparing other but, things to god oh my god way. could be good but you can still use it in, you're still using it in vain you okay. are still using it in vain right well you're, poop. In, in some expression it's yes. not just in a negative connotation. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, it could be a wow factor. Hey, like, oh, my Christo. God. Your, your lady friend's with you, Christopher. And she's like, oh, my God. Oh. 
I don't know. Did she sound like that? Um, uh, what are, What are we talking about? Um, your woman friend, when you're like, hi. And she's like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go. Um, <laughs> once again, this one, what do you even think? What, what do you think about this? Because uh, what do you think about this one? Why, why it was put in there, whether it's necessary and, and it's meaning and what. Of course it's not necessary. I, I guess basically don't be disrespectful to God. I mean, is that, is that sum it up or? It almost feels like saying it in any way loses the power of God. And once again, it's another control. So like by saying it, like you're, you're kind of talking shit about God by using it to your point when you say, God damn it. Right. For example. Yeah. I say that a lot. And you, you know, more people say it, the more people start believing that. And God, God forbid Moses has lets that happen. I mean, that's just, once again, he's got to lead these people, you know, for better or worse, whether he's doing good or not, he still seems to me like he's leading them in a very controlling kind of manner. In my opinion, that's what it feels like. Well, they keep listening to him, right? Right. But they, he also says, because I can talk to God, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt that he, that God's the one telling he's him special. Himself. Right. So he's basically telling him that he's special. I'm not saying he's not once again, I'm just talking about the way this is perceived from a 50,000 foot view. God, I hate that expression. From a 3,000 foot view. You know what, you know what happened? From bird's eye on a, on a podcast a while ago. Can I, can I tangent this right quick? Is there a story time? No, tangent? it's very brief. Oh, okay. Uh, a coworker listens to the podcast and he, um, I said on a podcast how I hate that expression. Then on Monday morning, he used that expression on a conference call. And I was like, you mother trucker. <laughs> and he had listened to it that weekend? Yes. That's beautiful. Uh, and Did then after the call, after? he goes, hey, man, that was, that was just for you, man. That was just for it's you. It's like, son of a nutcracker. That is beautiful. He got me so good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> shout, uh, out, shout out to the non docs person. Yeah, shit. It was funny, dude. I have said uh, some very stupid shit. What? Uh, yeah. What are you talking about? The one that just came out. The one that just came out. I opened with a thing. I thought I took that out, and I didn't. What? What thing? The beginning, right at the beginning, talking. I was awesome. I sounded like a total moron, <laughs> and I am. Funny. So it's okay. I know because it's totally. It is totally in jest. But okay. Last thoughts about um, using Lord. What? What do you think it's in there for? I mean, so you don't think that one's necessary? Like, what's the what's the need? What? Why? How is this one important to God? I don't think it's important at all. I think it's total common sense. But if you're talking about something that happened 3,350 years ago, do, do, do the people need those these in their life? Do they need to be told, hey, don't take God's name in vain. Be respectful to God which also goes into be a good person. If you're being respectful to God, you should be respectful of your brother and your wife and whatever, your donkeys and shit. I don't know. So is it, does it, you know, us, you and I talking right now, we're in an air conditioned room with the AC and that's redundantly redundant, excuse me. And, uh, I'm not the DC ceiling fans. We've got an alternating current. Also, we've got AC also, and AC. Whoa. But these people, they, they didn't even have shoes, some of them, right? So they, nothing. So you're talking, the, we can't even fathom what their lives were like. Yeah. They were slaves in Egypt, and now they're roaming the desert for 40 years. So did they have to be reminded of certain things? Right. Because can we put ourselves in their shoes? Yeah. Sandals? Yeah. I'm Zapatos? I like exactly what you're saying, and I'm going to come to a final conclusion that's a very Jerry Springer-like. Okay. Final thought. Yeah. Uh, that's going to happen at the end, of oh. course, because it wouldn't be a final thought. Uh, however, to your point, um, yes. The thing is, once again, to me, the first three seem like control, 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 right? I'm the only God. Because I'm the only one that can talk to God, you got to talk to me. So I kind of control you guys. Because I won't allow any other compet competitors there. I won't let any competition, any other God out there, no other pictures, no other golden calves, right? Yeah. Nothing else. Boom. Now I've eliminated the competition. Now I've got a monopoly on this control. And three is, yeah, don't diminish that word because if you diminish that word, that 
that actually dings chips away at my control of you. I see. That's what you're how saying. I see it. I I, I know I that see sounds. It. I get it. I just feel like some people. I mean, look. Sometimes to be a leader, you have to make very, very, very challenging decisions. I can't imagine being president and having to make a decision to use a drone to take out a general of Iran, like the top general or of Iran, yeah, yeah. and 20 other people are going to die. And you know this. And is that like, the, how do you put a value on, like, I, I would be crippled with that kind of leadership. I don't have leadership in me. I just don't. Well, leadership and the ability to make the decision to kill 21 people are totally different things. So you can't. Right, but I think, I mean, being able to make that tough decision, that could be inside of a leader, right? That, yeah. That a leader could make, would be able to make that decision if they felt, if they felt they had to. Um, look at Churchill. I mean, World War I was not kind to Winston Churchill. He almost was completely out of the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He what was at the Strait of Gibraltar, I think it was. He, like 50,000 people died in like a day or some shit. Yeah. Or 60, it was some ridiculous, and it was like the biggest loss in the history of any war of any kind. And he sent them all there to die because it was a high risk, high reward move. Yeah. But he, that was what it, his leadership had to do. But look at what he did in World War II and how his leadership kept that country together. I mean, I don't know how that survived the way it did. It, it was under attack constantly, every day, for years. I mean, years, three years. True. More than, more than three years. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the, to me, like I said, those feel like control systems. But what do you think? I see why you would say that. I don't understand why there's Ten Commandments. Because the first three, to me, are all the same one. So right there, I'm the Lord thy God. Thou shall have no other God before me. Just... Or say, word those three differently. Worship me. That's it. Because those three are all the same to me. That, that's it, to me. It's it's dumb, and that's not a nice thing to say. Yes, sir. You. To your point, though, you just said these people were dumb. Well, no, I said. So maybe they I didn't needed say to be, those people were dumb. I know, but remember, they 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 were slaves. They were absolutely not educated. They couldn't well, read. They were illiterate. They nobody didn't was educated, anything. dude. I would think Egyptians were pretty educated. Like, think about the hieroglyphics and some what some of the Cer writing. Yes, on them. certain Egyptians were. Yes, not all, obviously. Correct. But there was a handful of slaves. But the ones that weren't slaves, they were true. Know. I see what you're saying. But to that point, I didn't I say like, they were dumb. Right. I'm I'm saying the fact that there's ten commandments and the first three to me are basically the same. Why I agree couldn't with you. you just have seven commandments? Right. And in fact, we'll get down the list when there's other ones. I think we should combine. Right. We can, but, we've talked about that. Yeah. Um, I, I, it, I don't, I guess I'm stupid and logical and it, I like efficiency. So why do you need 10 when right. you can have seven? I also feel though, that's to the, to your point, they might be needed to be told exactly these things in order and, individually like step one don't don't touch the hot thing step two <laughs> don't touch the hot thing you know what i mean like step like, three go to one yeah exactly go back to one right like mm, come on i man. get they, it i see what you're saying you know they had to be look they had to be led and don't get me wrong like moses must have been one hell of a fucking leader to bring to bring all those people out like if the, if that is all true in historical documents and that i mean i think you know whatever it is if it is that's amazing it, yeah anyway so i agree with you first three could be just one also in my opinion their control systems they are literally there for moses to keep control of the people by saying he's the only one who can talk to god and god this is the only god you're going to get or is god using that as a control system and moses is his puppet or that's not the right word but you see what i'm saying right i mean is god saying Hey, hey, I'm the real one. Don't, you, you need to get your shit together. I mean, is that is that possible? Does an entity that created the everything the everything <laughs> does that does that entity really need you to be told? Like, is that a probably separate conversation? Does it need? No, your, it doesn't. I yeah, you're, yeah. I, I 
You're correct. Like if, if, it if, made everything. Yes, if God made uh, the universe in six days and rested on the seventh, then do, does does God really need? Yeah, no, do, I get you. Does he need me? I do, bro. <laughs> I, yeah, but oh, Megzy does. The good thing is, I well, kind of we, we all want each other, uh, and that's important because no, I don't want everybody. We <laughs> Okay. I just, there's some people I want to go away. Want to go away. What did Motley Crue say? Don't go away mad, just go away. Don't go away mad, don't go away. I hate seeing you go, but I love watching you leave. That's totally different, bro. I know, but it's the same thing. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Okay. You know. Anyway, agreed with you. Now, number four. Let's, put, let's pump that one in. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So one day a week. Yeah. Think about me all day. If that ain't control or some kind of ego trip, I don't know what what is, right? Yeah. How many? How many? How much control you think? I was like, hey, make sure you guys think about God at least one full day a a, a week. I got to keep those hooks in you. Just an opinion. You know who copied that template? No. The NFL. Ax- You're welcome. Wow. Boom. Oh. Tell me more. That, that, I feel like yeah. okay, I don't know if you watch The Great British Bake Off. Hell no. On Netflix. But sometimes Paul Hollywood has a handshake. This is my handshake to you. Is oh, that yeah, cheer? So tell me so more. Good. No, go back to you and well, tell me it's, more. Well, I mean, we just did the concussion thing and the 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 movie that we, neither of us have watched where they said the NFL owns Sunday. And the NFL is more popular than God. That was a line from the movie that I saw in the trailer. So it's obvious that... It seems like more people watch football than go to church. Oh, yeah, so know that, but that's the a- fourth commandment is being broken every time, every at every kickoff. Yeah, but the win, the half the teams thank Jesus for the win. Okay, that's a different story, bro. No, so they're keeping it holy because when they win, they thank Jesus for the win. So they're thinking about God. They can't be Jewish. They can thank God as well, uh, or okay. non-Jesus. Yahweh. Well, yeah, it could be Yahweh. It could be my way too, if you want. Well, It'd be Yahweh, my way, our the way, highway, the highway, <laughs> the byway. Anything goes tonight. <laughs> Good point. Go um, football. Yeah. So remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Once again, it's just like I'm your only God. No other gods. Don't talk shit about God. And remember me at least one full day a week. Yes. If that's not some kind of controly or some way to keep you kind of in line, I don't know what is because it's basically training you or what's that called? Uh, guiding you. Um, uh, what Grooming. Grooming you to follow this thing. Yeah. Commandment 4.5. Megzy shall not make dinner while we're recording a podcast with the window open because it smells it delicious. smells freaking super good back it to you Chuck. Good. thank you <laughs> megzy and her best bff are out there today. oh okay i wonder oh i wonder if they brought the other dog again because they were so cute together okay. on insta remember they yeah, were, you mem- remember. You remember the big lab yeah they're insta yeah 11 years old that lab is wow that's not old for a mid-sized dog that or a dog that size it's pretty mine's pretty. 12 dude shut up yeah but bigger she's big uh that elliot's Ellie's bigger. The, okay. the yellow lab's a little bigger, I think. Okay. In the box. Just a little bit. No, you know, whatever. Don't take... You take very good care of your dogs as well. You take, you smush their faces. All and you give them love. faces. Boxerlove.org. B-O-X-E-R-L-U-V. Dot org. Dot O-R-G, please. Oh. Um, number five, bro. Number five. Honor thy father and thy mother. I, I, you go. I, I, I don't want to. No, don't make me do it. No, fuck off. How about fuck off? Bro. What? You know you love your parents, bro. As much as it as <clears throat> challenges one. Uh, 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 I know, but kinda. It's 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 double edged. No, please talk. Uh it's double edged though. I, I just have a problem with what if they're dicks? Honor they father and mother. Semicolon. Like regardless. Even if they're dicks. That's not cool. That's not cool. How can you literally write something in stone? What if what if he beats me? What if she probably happened every day back then? Yeah, what I mean, if she is a drug addict? What if I mean this is just stupid. 
at a certain point, and that go to me, that just goes right down the road of, well, that's just your family. You can't pick them. Oh, fuck you. Fuck off. Like, you know, I mean, you, I've known you for 28 years, and you're my brother, dude. Like, we've been through all kinds of stupid shit together, and I'd rather hang out with you than some of my blood relatives. And Thank she you. doesn't listen to this, so fuck her, so it doesn't really matter. I, I also, Tambian. All of the tambourines. Um, no, uh, I agree with you. And this is, once again... Did you, did you bring up, hey man, oh. let's do the Ten Commandments podcast so Peralta loses his fucking mind number five. Is that what yeah, Is I, that the whole plan? I had the under. You prick motherfucker. I had, I had the at. <laughs> I, I, it, I put $1,000 on five. It was actually funny because you sent, <laughs> so the story today <laughs> is the, that Mr. Peralta sends me a text that goes, what's your angle about the Ten Commandments? And I said, oh, I just want to go through each of them and objectively look at them as, whether they're necessary or whether they're control, whether they're good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Not whatever. And he merely texted, I don't want this to be a bitch session. What did, what just happened? And then Vegas called. <laughs> and and Vegas set the over-under at four and a half commandments that he would lose four his and mind. Half commandments. And he did it at five and I took the over, so I win. I thought you could hold on until five, but you did. So congratulations. No, this one once again. Can this I bet one on I knew, myself? Well, it's funny because I know. I didn't. I don't know them verbatim. I do not know them off the top of my head. I kind of go. Yeah, I kind of oh. go through them, but I don't know them exactly. Right. The father and mother one till today again. I totally forgot that it was in there. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. So when I saw it today, I will admit I was like, ooh, because I know. Yeah, row row. Um, <laughs> but it was honor the father and mother. To me, another control. It's like you, your direct elders are your control. I control them. They control you. That's how it works. This is the lineage. You pay attention to that. Do not, do not stay in your lane, bro. That's base. It's Moses's version of stay in your lane, bro. I'm thinking. I mean, my dad did teach me to respect my elders. That was one, one thing he said. And he always, obviously the military guy, respect the chain of command. So, and I like those things. I think those are good things. But I think you have to earn that respect. You can't be a dickhead. So that why isn't that five dot five? Well we if did. the respect is earned. <laughs> well we did we did a podcast on courtesy versus respect. In my opinion, you were taught courtesy. It was called respect, but you were actually taught courtesy. Common well, decent courtesy. The respect part is an admiration. You can't have admiration without it being earned in your opinion just like i i agree i think you have to earn my admiration i don't think it's admiration but remember when we went through the definitions yeah, yeah, they were yeah, slightly yeah, different yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone keeps can i it's my opinion that people are still conflating respect and courtesy i think it's my parents taught me courtesy i think holding a door for someone is courteous yeah it's not respectful no i, I agree because you don't know you don't even know who's behind you correct so without that the respect is has not been built correct so you can't have it can't be a respectful act right we're taught manners we're taught manners and courtesy is my opinion i just think we're using different words and the word get makes it kind of confusing then when we're trying to s separate what respect is right right but is that are we talking about the fifth commandment or what are we talking about no we we're just talking about general <laughs> respect like because you're talking about your dad teaching you respect i just merely wanted to state i think he taught you courte courtesy and manners Okay, I, I I see your point. That's all. What do you got on number five, bro? Um, once again, j control system. Okay, like, yeah, all right. To, and the more I read these, because that's kind of what it started looking. I'm looking at it through a very critical lens, and it maybe it, you it's should biased. stop doing that. Well, I'm trying to look at it from a different, from an angle that like isn't just a faith based. Oh, yeah, I get it. Honor God. There's only one. Okay, don't 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 swear with God's name in it. Okay, like to me, I'm like this looks like they're telling you what to do, like down the line, a list of of control. But that's your interpretation, correct? That's, that's your right. perception, right? So, can you look at it from the objective point of view of hey, maybe these ten sentences are the way that I could lead a good life. Right. I don't I mean can you can you step back and look at it from a different perspective? In my opinion, 
I think I am looking at it objectively because the first three or four are basically have nothing to do with living your life other than I I do I do God. agree with that. So that right? is a caveat to my question. I do agree with so that. So there's a challenge there. Now, once again, this is why I asked to talk about it and I, I hemmed and hawed about it because like I this isn't a bitch session. I'm trying to look at these things. I know you have a different perspective than I do because we have we live similar yet very different lives. We have very different philosophies on certain things. Of course. So I love your feedback on this. I'm I'm not saying I'm right. I'm giving you my current opinion on this, right? Mm -hmm. um, and as I'm reading them, it's like, well, yeah. How does not? How does like being told that uh, that there's that this is the only God? How does that make me live my life better? I don't I don't see how those two things connect. And neither, you know, using a name in vain or keeping the day holy thinking about him, wasting my day. I'm sorry, not being productive on a day and just thinking about God all the time. Well, you can still go. People misinterpret that to not work, right? And well, to that's not do anything. how certain religions are. That's right. correct. But that's not, that's, the, that's not the Christian religion. Right. I mean, you can still on a Sunday or Sabbath, whatever Sabbath, Saturday, Sunday, whatever you want to call it, you can still go rake the leaves and you can still have a barbecue with your family and you can still do things watch watch the game but keep god in your mind or keep a religious perspective on things that's i mean is that you know there's two i guess there's many 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 interpretations L you know the one interpretation do nothing don't work don't cook don't do you must have a day of a literal rest and 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 think and keep god in the forefront of your mind that's a that's a literal interpretation, right? Some have that. Yes, yeah. correct. Like the where they have like uh, no ovens and no electricity on sat on Saturday, which is the Sabbath for the Jewish faith. Correct. Uh, or my dad, because God rested on the seventh day. Yes. Basically, does nothing around that. Like literally, like he works his butt off. My dad is a workaholic, but I'm he literally shuts down on purpose. He has to force himself to shut down for that whole day. Well, maybe they wrote faith. the commandment for him. No, he I'm need, serious. Like the dude needed no. a damn day off. Right. Right. But it doesn't say to, to rest. It says oh, keep it right. holy. What I'm saying yeah. is a lot of people conflate it also in another yeah. way. The whole, this, this commandment with because God rested on the seventh day, you shouldn't do anything. Some people do that. I'm not, I'm not, it's not good or bad or indifferent. I'm not criticizing that thought, that's but a, it, it's not a bad way to think because that's how God was. So keeping it holy makes sense that, oh, well, I'll just follow God's, you know, day one to, you know, day one yeah, through yeah, six, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. on the seven. Yeah. And I, I do know that also, um, Sunday obviously is a big Mormon day. Like I've got the, my Mormon friends, they are, oh, Hey, Hey man, you want to go do something? Nah, I can't on Sunday, man. Um, it's family day. So and they Southern go to, Baptist. they go to church Chick -fil and they A's closed. do family day. And my one buddy's like, he couldn't even go to circle K to buy anything like oh man we needed something at circle k but sunday so we couldn't go it's like you can't even go to circle k or AM PM or quick trip or something oh okay i didn't know that was a rule uh okay have you seen workarounds in the jewish faith no it's interesting so they could either have someone cook for them so they use a non their, a non-jew yes non-kosher non-jew okay uh, to observe the sabbath or what they'll do is they'll turn the light on before dusk and leave it on all night. Leave it on all night sunrise? during the day till the till the next sundown. Then till they can Sunday use it night. I think it's Friday night to Saturday night for them because Saturday is the Sabbath. Okay. So I think it's sundown Friday. Friday to sundown Saturday, I believe. Okay. But that's the thing; they'll just leave everything on, or they'll have the oven turned on before the sun before they can't use it. And then like put the put like a roast in or something, yeah. Because they can turn it off, but they can't turn it on. You know what I mean? Because they can't use it or something. So there's some interesting workarounds. Like, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna follow the faith verbatim, then follow the faith. Like, I don't have an issue with that. I think that's a, I think it's absolutely amazing to have that strict. Yeah. Like to live kosher. I remember speaking with some Jewish people um, about why why do kosher? No shellfish. No no lobster. No no shrimp. That's a problem. No cheeseburgers, because you can't have cheese and meat together. What? No, no pork. No bacon. Like, what? Right? And and she merely... Don't they know that it's meat candy? Oh, it's meat candy. <laughs> um, she said it's not about 
that because I'm like it was to my in my opinion it was initially done for health reasons. Yeah, in the desert. In the desert. How long so shellfish gonna last in the desert? With four minutes. Yeah, like literally out of the water, put it right in, pop it right in your mouth. So she said it was for the tradition though, is to celebrate the tradition of it by following in those steps. I'm honoring God, and I thought that was a really good answer. Yeah, that yeah, it, absolutely, it is. I respect. Yeah. I admire that very much, and I admire. Like I said, you and I. We have challenges with people's faith, but we do admire the the, the strength that people have in their faith. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, It's yeah, definitely yeah. an admirable trait. Like, I want to be clear that we're not here to shit on anything. That's why I want to have the conversation about this. So. Hey, keep the Sabbath holy, bro. All right. Last thoughts on, on uh, your mother, Maja and your Faja. No. I, no, I don't want to. Don't tell me what to do. Don't be a dick, and then maybe I'll do it. Okay. I like that. It should be a goddamn 50-50, man. <laughs> God damn it. Bro, oh, sh uh, oh, sh I just oh, broke Jesus two commandments Christ. in one sentence. <laughs> Can you say Jesus Christ? Because technically Jesus he's the son of God, not God. And Well, technically, no. According to Christianity, Jesus is God. He's Jesus is God and is the, also the Holy Spirit. It's the, okay. it's the, the three, Trinity. It's the Holy Trinity, yeah. yes, sir. But it says, Lord thy God. So I didn't know if that was anything specific. Well, this was that. also written in the Old Testament right, when Jesus to, wasn't. Right, before right. Jesus was made up. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Alive, what? I'm sorry. Born of a Virgin born, Mary. Yes, born. My apologies. Died 33 years later. Some dude dipped him in water, said he was going to be. John like the Baptist, his cousin. I, I think he did something to him. He, bap he baptized something. baptized him in the river. In the middle of the night, middle of the I go walking in my, I go walking in my, through the valley of song, through the river of dreams. In the middle of the night, I go walking in the, ooh, 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 ooh. okay. Whoa! Wow, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was the intermezzo. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, which ones do I have to fucking write down? All oh, eight of them, shit. bro. Some included, so I don't actually add those. <laughs> so I hope I don't get in trouble. I hope we don't get doxxed later. Oh, that was amazing. We're making a million dollars. Moving on. Numero six, the sixth commandment. Okay. My dude. The one I actually think, one that matters. Really? Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah. Funny Don't though. Don't do that. Uh, Moses murdered somebody after that, but he murdered him. He didn't kill him. It's very, and there's a weird distinction between the two. In the middle of the night, you asshole. Go ahead. Who, who did he murder, death kill? I don't know. Did he put a 187 in someone's ass? I made it up. Oh, murder, death kill. 187. Are they going to talk about it for uh, dinner? Taco Bell. After getting to the Taco Bell and stuffing Sarah, um, Sandra Bernhard in her, you know. Sandra Bullock. Bullock in her, you know. Uh -huh. hey, hey, yo. <laughs> that was terrible. It was awful. I'm going to tell the boys. And I'm from Philly, too. Hey, yo, Adrian. I did read yesterday that murder is allowed in a time of war, which I, in the Bible, and I have a huge problem with that because that's, I, I, I assume that's how Christianity justified their crusades. And I think that's, I, they called it a holy war. And I think that's horrible. I mean, 2 million people died. That's just ridiculous. It, it's, it's in the commandments, man. Thou shall not kill. But Period. Yet, there's an army of God's dudes. P period. Like, there's no, there's nothing after thou shalt not kill. It's. That's Thou it. shalt not kill. It's four words. But later on in the Bible, it says it's it's okay if it's if it's war, if it's war. New time. Testament or Old Testament? Old still? Testament, like in the chapter, the book I can't pronounce, Deuteronomy. And the reason it said that, was, <laughs> and that's the funny thing. I think that's where the distinction comes in. I've I've spoken with people who have broken this down and said. That's why it says thou shalt not kill. It was actually specifically written. There are some pundits who, s who say it's specifically written by Moses to say kill because murder is oh. allowed and murder happens during war, not killing. It's a different, it's like a different, 
I'm, I'm just saying. And the thing is, Moses did murder someone in Egypt. So if he said, yeah. if he came down with a commandment that said, thou shalt not kill or thou shalt not murder. It'd be different. Yeah. He would already be guilty of that re- yes. in retrospect. I did read that he did kill somebody. Yes. So, and it was, he, he, he killed somebody who beat a Jew. He ran, yes. or I'm, he was beating a, a Hebrew. Yes. And then he ran away and then married his wife. Is it Zephora? Is it, uh, Zephora is where you buy perfume, Sef- right? Zephora. Oh. I think. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Moses killed somebody. A, a person. Yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah. He killed an Egyptian. One day after Moses reached, reached adulthood, he killed an Egyptian who was beating a Hebrew. Moses, in order to escape the Pharaoh's death penalty, fled to Midian, a desert country south of Judah, where he met Zipporah. See? Zipporah. Z-I-P-P. Zippo, like the lighter. R-A-R-A-H. Okay. That's Zappara? Zippora. I don't, I, don't, I don't. Same thing. Yeah. Zippo lighters. Ra. Zippo, Rob. Yeah. Um, and I think that's another tick mark in like, why did it say thou shalt not kill? Because murder is a different animal. So it, it absolves them of doing it to your point during wartime. I think that's how they separated the two. No. Thoughts? Okay, go, go. No, just no, no. Well, expound no. on your thoughts. No. Okay. Murder and kill, to me, is the same thing. You're taking a human life. You're not, I mean, it's not like you're ki- you're taking a bunny rabbit's life so you can make rabbit stew. If you're taking a human life, you're taking a human life. Uh, no. No. I agree with you. I, I see it like that dude that they made a movie of it just a few years ago, and it was the true story of the gentleman in World War II that was a pacifist, and he would he would not he would not carry a weapon. It's a really good movie, and he saved like ninety seven Marines in Iwo Jima. Like he kept dragging them off the battlefield, and he got the Congressional Medal of Honor, and all, you know all the the dude was he was up there for he didn't sleep for two days, and he was just like. He was the medic of medics in the Marine Corps in World War II. A great movie. Yeah, but he wonder, was a pacifist. What is, you don't he, what he volunteered called. for the he volunteered for the Marine Corps World War II, 1944. And uh, those medics he, didn't carry. He firearms. said, "I will." He, well, they had in training, like in in basic training, he would not hold a weapon. And they're, they're like, they they gave him a gun. He's like, no, and he wouldn't take it. And they, they, right. that was that was half the movie right there. Then the second half, he gets deployed, and you know, there's total carnage. Just Iwo Jima was just horrible. So, I mean, most of the Pacific theater was. Well, not that the European theater was good. Un- underrated. But, underrated in its carnage. I mean, it, it was bad. They, I mean, it the Japanese, Japanese were Japanese so, do not surrender. And they, they were so not, dug in. And you, the, I mean, from everything that I've read over the years, the Americans and the Australians and New Zealands that were there, couldn't you couldn't even see the Japanese. You, they were just buried in the hills. And there's a machine gun. You didn't even know it was there. And then half your dudes are dead. Like, and they never holy. surrendered. They no. just did not. They that's hence the term kamikaze. There's the kamikaze thing. They just did not give up. And what was the one? They had somebody as late as 1970 something. What? There was somebody on an island that thought World War II was still going on. What? Do you remember that story? No. That's a whole other tangent. I'm, I'm not going to go there. But side tangent on that part with yeah. war. Um, yeah, like well, medics. Oh, yeah. Look at Muhammad Ali. He refuses to fight. Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, That's Hacksaw Ridge. Okay, right. Oh. I'll have to watch that. I, I'm, I'm aware of it. It was uh, good. Muhammad Ali refused to fight in Vietnam. He was drafted. Oh. And he That's lost. That's why my he dad was, didn't like him. He was stripped of his belt for three years in his prime, 20, 25 to 28, 26 to 29, something like was that. He, so he was drafted? He was... He refused to fight he was drafted and he refused to fight and they probably would have done the same thing with elvis they probably would have done or as elvis like he probably would have done boxing like you know shows around he probably wasn't going to be tight i would think he would be part of that a lot more just like elvis in my right elvis did a lot of music stuff right didn't he and during the war didn't he sing a lot or i don't know i mean i I, he was before he, he took off i guess here so was that elvis was also drafted i think I think Elvis was drafted, but most volunteered. But I think he was drafted. But I, I think I don't. I don't no, Let's I'm, not worry no. about Elvis. Anyway, bro. but Ali refused to fight and, and lost a lot from his commit 
his commitment to be a pacifist. Yeah. And he fought to get it all back. Is that I when mean, he changed his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, 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 he was a pacifist. Muhammad Ali was a very spectacular individual, in my opinion. And uh, you, all you heard was his mouth. And he was, he was, he seemed enlightened. He seemed to have a, and he's Muslim. I mean, he was, he practices Islamic faith, right? Um, he changed his name. Yeah. And he, he has this, Dave Chappelle is Muslim, Islamic, since he was 19 or 17 or something. Okay. I had no idea. But the, the view of it is such, it is a very peaceful, it's a real zen kind of like outlook when you hit that, when you hit the stride. You know what I mean? Like when, when it, like when you hit the sweet spot of it, not the, you know, death to the infidels part, just the regular stuff. It's pretty. You mean everything in the middle? Yeah. Like the, yeah, the stuff not on the edges. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Like it's good. It really is a really well, yeah, awesome thing. So I do admire it. That's why we talk about it. So we're at um, no killing. Six. No. This is this is what I think. About I veto this. that. Do I do I have veto power on this? You, the Ten Commandments. Well, I've already podcast. vetoed the first five. So you did. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, you definitely well, I vetoed, vetoed five. five. Also. I voto. I veto five and six for, for sure. I'll I'll do one through four. We're good. Man, this is not going well. Uh, no, but but it's cool. some of them we kind of agree no, with. No, it's not it's not an agreement thing per se. But like it makes sense to me is this: Moses just gets these people out of Egypt, or they're still actually in Egypt. But he's getting not, them out, but he's trying to get them to stay civil. They're not enslaved what, anymore. Right. What a better way to be like God told me not to kill you guys to for you guys to kill each other. Stop killing each other, motherfuckers. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm we're, sure that's exactly what he said. We're, we're gonna fucking start planting shit. We're not gonna be nomads anymore. We're gonna find a fucking place. Once we do that, we don't need to kill each other anymore for shit. We don't. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So I'll just say God told him to tell you know, God told me to tell you don't stop killing. Yeah. Like once again, it, but that one make I'm totally good with that one. Command I have one commandment so far. That I, six? Of the six, yeah. I can't the other ones just do not resonate, man. It's just my apologies. Nah, you don't gotta apologize for your opinion, dude. Um number seven. Yeah. You're gonna take it from here, sir. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Why am I taking it from here? I don't know, because I've talked too much. Because I'm an adulterer? No. No, because I I've talked too much. That talk it wasn't much. about that. I was because I talked too the much. The tenth point seventh commandment: Thou shalt not talk too much. Twelve: Thou shalt shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck upest nowest. Uh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay, back to you, Frank. What yeah, are your thoughts on that one. Don't sleep with your neighbor's wife. Don't sleep with your neighbor's husband. Like, be faithful to your spouse. Ta da! I found this one interesting. Of course, you did. Because is this a control system, sir? Well, thou shalt not commit adultery. You know how? Notice how it doesn't say thou shalt not fornicate. Uh, fornicate just means fucking. It, it does. Adultery means specifically with a married individual. It does. Why was virginity such a coveted thing until marriage? If it's only a commandment thou shalt not commit adultery, not thou shalt not fornicate. Well, it's specifically saying don't have sex outside of marriage. No, adultery is not sex outside of marriage. Adultery is sex between a person and their non-spouse. Yeah. Right, but that's a specific... That's sex outside of marriage. No, that... No. Two people who are unmarried are having sex outside of marriage also. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? Yes. But, okay. But that's my point. Did that what that did they translate sex outside of marriage to mean even people who aren't married? See what I'm saying? Fornicating yeah, just yeah, means yeah, fucking yeah. around. Yeah. You could be a whore and a slut and a mimbo and a bambo and a rambo and a mambo. Mambo <laughs> number five. You can be all those things. Do you understand? <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Though? <laughs> I do. Do you see how the di what I'm saying? Yeah, the is, wording is uh, shitty. Well, uh, no, adultery is specifically a person. Who's married? Who's married being with someone who's not their spouse. Correct. I get it. That's all that says. Yeah. How the heck did it become don't have sex before marriage? Yeah. See, that's a, I think that's a New Testament thing. I think that's- Okay. You think that's a fact, New Testament thing? In fact, I don't thing. even think it's a New Testament thing. I think that that's something that the Catholic Church devised- Just the Catholic Church? Well, wait for it. The Catholic Church devised- I have to look it up. 
I, I, I'm yeah, not okay. certain. We're asking opinion. Yeah, we're I'm not, not certain. Once again, we're not theologians. So I am. Well, you're an awesome man. <laughs> I, I think it happened after, um, and and you know, a man made it up. So you know, hell, you should wait till you're married to have sex. You're dumb. So I think that was written way, way, way after Christ. Uh, so AD. <laughs> Um, so I don't think it has anything to do with the Bible. I, I, I don't know why that, I guess they wanted people to not have kids out of wedlock or not have kids outside of the, the faith. And then of course, you know, Catholicism was the main Christianity. Jesus sect, founded it. Right. And then it just broke off like crazy after that. Right. You know, the, you know, the church of England and da, 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 it just went <laughs> Lutherans. It just went crazy. Right. So, but the original Catholic was the original christian religion you know it was the one that jesus founded a correct that, that's what he correct. there stated to he correct. he's the one who found and like mormons christian, they don't they, uh, they don't there's no sex before marriage right and well that, vaginal sex true it never speaks of anything else i don't think i think they have loopholes if you know what i mean <laughs> uh, tight loopholes i have no idea what you're talking about Sorry, bro I'm just kidding so Interesting. Adultery makes sense. Don't, don't do that. I'm just curious how that got <laughs> expounded to, cause like the whole thing was my dad, I remember my dad, you can't commit adultery. I'm like, it's not adultery, dad. I'm not breaking a commandment. Fucking, I have to be fucking someone out of wedlock is not, is, is not wrong in the 10 commandments. It is not against the commandment cause it's about adultery, not about fornication. But if you sleep with a married woman, is Correct. that adultery? Yes. Because that is adultery. Okay. Well, actually, is that adultery on her or on you? Because you're one hundred percent on the married individual. Yes. However, there are opposing schools of thought about the other side. What if her you have a threesome with the Beckhams? I couldn't get my hands off David. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, posh spice, get oh, out of here. Posh, Leave me posh, and David alone. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, uh, not and not not because of that. Just broadcasting live from David's treehouse. It's day. Um, excuse me, posh. Look, <laughs> I know you just took off that beautiful night nighty. I'm just gonna wash it on David's stomach, okay? I'm just gonna rinse it on his washboard, okay? <laughs> Just so if you had a threesome a with the Beckhams, dude, if I wouldn't make it three steps without just, well, that's not the question. The, I know, I it's just, not your, your ED issue is not about, am I, I'm on camera. Yeah. Um, Hello, Twitter Victoria and David. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, I bet, do you think Megzi will let me put that, make that my, it has to be both of them it has to be a menage devil's three way, obviously, which David will never go for. How do you know? Cause it's me, bro. I'm an alpha. I'll take over. No, just kidding. Um, no, but Megs, it's he would like, flip you, know, you like, over so yeah, hard and so me. fast. He'd like, oh, off. David, take me. He'd kick me. Mark? I, yes. I pitch. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, but I think Megsy would allow that to be on, you know, the, the, the top uh, five list. Yeah. The ones that you're allowed yeah. to, like yeah, yeah, it yeah. has to be David and Victoria though. Like as a, I, as a I, yeah, as I understand. I probably have a better shot with just David. Uh, No. You have a better shot with Posh Spice. They're, they're both gorgeous people. They work out. They they are gorgeous they individuals. And just I hope they, I hope they hear this. Hi. Um. So, uh, <laughs> adultery. Now, the school of thought is. <laughs> wow, that was a weirdest hand. I know. I ask a question, so I'm the best interviewer. Is it you adultery are. if you sleep with both of the Beckhams? <laughs> It's a way to fucking get me. Bless me, Father, my for head, I have sinned. My, my last confession was 12 years ago. My son, tell me your sins. I fucked both the Beckhams. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Can oh, you please slow down? Um, my son, slow down. Explain. Start from the beginning. Yeah. Please tell me the whole story. <clears throat> Dude, the whole story. Don't mind the rustling of my robe. <laughs> That's that's gonna be the best confessional that dude's ever. Had. That dude's like, oh. you know, like, uh, what was David wearing? Oh, really? Oh, uh, what was Victoria wearing? Oh my god, I need the deets. Oh, did he bend it? Oh shit! Oh, it was bent. It was already bent, man. It was bent like Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's oh, fucking shit. beautiful. Oh, We're dude, sorry. No, that was that's the funniest thing. Um, so closing on that, the school of thought is. 
in my opinion, I think Megzi would say, if you knowing if you know that that person's married and you're not, it's not your spouse or whatever, that you're also would be an adulterer. Like if if you. And I don't disagree with that point of view. Let's say, okay, so I'm single and I, and some a woman hits on me and I see she has a ring on and I sleep with her anyway. Right. You, you know then that I'm, she's married. In Megzi's book, I'm guilty of it as well. Correct. Okay. Right. And I, and I don't have an issue with that because that's a good point of view. In my opinion, I'm not the one, I'm not the one married to the person. You're not the one damaging the marriage. I'm not the one who made the commitment. So it's not on me. Uh, to care. I, I understand. I, that's just my opinion. I, I see I what you're saying. It's probably wrong. And I <laughs> That's my opinion, well, although it's wrong. Back I, to you. I'm happy to admit that it could be a very, in, it's a very skewed way of looking at the world. However, if I'm, when I'm committed, Megzi and I are together, I, I'm committed, right? You should be committed. Yeah, I should be because I'm crazy like that. But um, the point is, um, I make that choice. I'm with her. I've chosen her. But has she chosen you? I don't know. This is so I'm, confusing. It's still up in the this air. This therapy's terrible. She's great. But um but yeah, the point is like I'm not if she were married to someone's like I'm not married to your husband. You are. That's, That's gross. That's on you if I were single or something. Yes, I'm just, I I understand. It's the same. So, number 8, number 7, no adultery. But fornicate all you want, motherfuckers. That's what I says. That's number what it seven. says. I'm sorry, it's number 7. That's what it says. It says it right there. It's, you know, ready for number eight? Yeah. Yeah, go go put on you over there. Thou shalt not steal. Back to you, Jim. You could melt all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take stuff. How about that? Oh, wow. We need to write that down? Yeah, once again. Don't take stuff that's not yours. Don't kill... Don't fuck your neighbor's wife, obviously, or don't fuck anyone's wife or husband, obviously. And don't steal. Unless it's David Beckham. Okay. Six, seven, and eight. Those three, they're great commandments. We approve, don't do we kill, approve those? Don't commit adultery and don't steal. They make they make sense to me. It sounds like civilization, doesn't it? It yeah. just sounds like, hey, we are we're all in this together. And if just I were to the do, two of us. It was I was gonna do high school we musical. Can make it if we try. I don't know high school musical. So. We're all in this together. Yay! Okay, now put the camera on you, sir. You it's that was been amazing. Way too long on me. Tell me about not stealing. What are your thoughts? Uh, don't take people's stuff. I'm down. Live and let live, man. I'm down. Other Beatles songs too. Or no, that's not. That's not. Sorry, live and let die. Sorry, I was way off. Yeah, don't take people's stuff. That's Wings, not not Beatles. Oh, really? Sorry. So, it's uh, Paul McCartney and uh, to summarize, uh, don't be a dick. Yeah, no stealing. Yeah, seems pretty obvious, right? Pretty easy. Okay, number nine. Yeah. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Interesting. I don't even know what that means, dude. Just don't lie. Oh, okay, don't lie? False witness. Like, I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah. False witness. Like, blah, blah, blah. I saw blah, blah, blah with blah, blah, blah. They committed adultery. I saw you Bob liar. stealing stuff and screwing yeah. other people's wives. Yeah. And then so, he killed somebody. So one's, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not lie about someone else committing adultery. Or stealing or murdering or killing. Yeah, or killing or anything. Or saying God's damn it. Why? How did neighbor come into this all of a sudden? Because uh, why is it thou shalt not kill thy neighbor? Mr. Thou Robinson's not, shalt neighborhood? not commit adultery with thy neighbor. What? what why? I'm curious why, why the verbiage. Why choose thy neighbor in this one case? Go. Thou shalt not bear a false witness against thy neighbor. I don't know, dude. Uh, 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 it's easier than saying your fellow man. I don't know. Is I mean, your neighbor literally your neighbor or is it your community person or is it your tribe only? Right? Like. Yeah, that's not defined. Right. It's ambiguous enough to work around. Yeah. So. Well, my neighbor's this guy next to me. You're two doors down. I can fucking lie about you. Cause so basically, Seems weird, right? What you're saying is this is open to interpretation. In my opinion, it would be. It might be though that neighbor back in the day just meant the entire community or the tribe. Well, cause you and also back in the day, you probably only knew a very small amount of people. Well, yeah, because whoever Moses most, was with. Did most people 
How, how many mean, people did he lead? I don't know. Thousands. It was and, a couple of thousand. Right? Sure. And did most people even? I mean, w once this this information got out, did most people even live in cities, or did most people live in the countryside? And there was only thirty of them, and they had sheep and stuff. So right. Well, they were still in Egypt, so I don't think they had gotten to where they were going yet. I think well, he right, needed some kind of civilization to start, and that's why I think these things were written just in the right time. Right, these things were about to go fucking bat shit crazy in the nick of time, bro. Yeah, right, these control these things that tell you how to act, these civilization ideas. Yeah, they just happened to be written, told to Moses from God, right when they needed it most. Because they were gonna go back in time. Back in time. Won't you be Ma. my neighbor? Gonna go back in time. What are you doing? What are you? What are you? I was just seeing how many Israelites how many? and whatnot, but the chosen a peeps? lot of people. So yeah, we're good with that one, right? Um, don't lie now, and that's the thing is like, so neighbor, it's like, oh well, I can lie about the Egyptians because they're not my neighbor. Only my people with Moses are my neighbor. Like, oh, that that Egyptian did something wrong, you know? Like, what are your thoughts on something like that? Well, once again, I think it's the word is open up to interpretation, right? So that could be anybody that's not the in the year thirteen fifty when these were handed down, approximately B B C. BCE before Christ, before Common Era, whatever I don't know. Was could you t use that word and interpret it differently? Is it is the neighbor somebody that's not my skin color, somebody that doesn't worship the same God that I do? Is it somebody that, like you said, an Egyptian, or did they was there were there Romans, did, which there were in Egypt? So I don't know what year they got there, but you you know, other people that they encountered across in their, in their journey. So do that, does that apply to those people that they don't know? I, I don't know, man. That's you. That's up to interpretation. Everybody could have a different answer for that. Right. And once again, that's, that is why I came to you with this because you, you should stop that. You have a that different way of viewing at things. And like I said, like what thy neighbor means to you might not be what thy neighbor means to me. To me, it means every single human being that I encounter. That's how I see it. It's just be a good person all the time. I mean, regardless of all that stuff, like I don't care that you're a, you worship this God or you worship that God or you're tall or you're that color. I don't give a shit. Just be a good person. I don't believe it's what they meant, though. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I believe, right. I believe they meant their tribe because not next door neighbor. We're talking their group of people. The, the Israelites walking the through the deserts, specifically. Correct. Specifically those under Moses' leadership. Be nice to the people walking through the desert. Correct. Don't, you know, we're, like I said, we're all fighting the good fight together. Let's not fight start, the good fight. It's let's good not jam start right there, eating bro. each other alive. Um, because in the, allegedly, God had commanded people to rape and murder in the what? Old Testament. There was raping? I didn't know that part. Well, you take women as slaves. I mean. Oh, well, that doesn't mean you and, rape yeah, them. Yeah, but you take them as you take the wives and you take i thought well okay so certainly slave and murder for yes, sure slavery and murder. murder that's correct i always throw rape in there because it seems like a very dis that's the viking thing bro it's what all fucking animals do bro it's sad huh and we're animals sorry it's truth i well it has Hashtag. i mean it does happen and it has happened and it is terrible yes, regardless it's awful yeah so um no lying that makes sense once again six seven eight nine sound really good to me don't lie bro this is where it gets tricky. We get on 10. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm sorry. We're on the 10th? We're on the 10th one. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. It's perfect. No, we're doing great, man. Just get out of the city. You and I. Sex in the city. I got you, babe. Dun, 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 dun. I got you, babe. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's cold outside. <laughs> it's cold. I'm get on those jackets. Uh, number 10. Yeah. Thou shalt, not, and this is where you and I talked prior to the show, and I want your, yes, you're, this is where you're going to expound about what you mean, what it means to you, okay. what you were told it meant, and all this good stuff, because this one's really important to me. Yeah. Because I think this is where it gets back to BS, Bill. <laughs> Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods, and go. Uh, See, that's where I say you should, I thought it was, you should not take other people's stuff, but that's thou shalt not steal and then check mark at said what does the word covet mean and i was like i don't i don't know <laughs> so is it is thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods is that an act of 
taking something of theirs or is it thinking about taking something of theirs? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I got you, babe. And that's where I went, sir, because I looked up the dictionary definition of covet. Then he asked me, he says, you've been, you used to go to confession one, two, eight times a week. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's true. What did you see? My spreadsheet? My, did you see my confession schedule check mark from seventh grade? Well, because you're what a Virgo. Hell? You definitely had a confession schedule. Don't you Dude, lie. I went. Don't as, you lie. Uh, I went as few times as possible, bro. Can I just tell you? Really? In second grade, like my first confession. So imp- I, I feel like so you'd go scared, every time dude. because you had to go. Like oh, it was a respect thing for you. So I thought you No, would, you'd I do went it. as little okay, I went good. only when it was mandatory. I oh. hated that shit. Because like when you're like I, I went when it. I was the first time I was seven or eight, wearing my little tie and shit, and I, what did I do? I stole a piece of gum. Like, what do you you gotta make up shit? <laughs> you know, you're seven, dude. Like, oh I, I picked lied. my nose and ate it. I ate a booger. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, what kind of bullshit is this? Like you're, I'm an innocent little child, dude. I took Bobby's Lego. I didn't even do that. You know, <laughs> like I didn't. <laughs> I said Legos instead of Lego, yeah. and checkmark lost <laughs> his fucking mind. See, he's losing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch. Don't you be my neighbor. So I don't. Check Mark lost his mind. You motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, you know, say no more to these Legos. Uh, the Lego. Check Mark so sexy. Lego of ego. Lego. And Lego. Lego. No more. No more plural. No less. Both. No Legos. Lego. Both. Of like them. Lego, my Lego. How hard? It, make it easy. You know, even think about. Dear, dear. How hard? What? You, you moron? Dear check Mark. Shut the <laughs> hell up. <laughs> deer and headlights check mark. Deer, a doe, a female deer. Okay. Oh, God. All right, so covet. I, I don't know, man. You tell me. I, I, well, I, I'm not sure. Well, that was the thing. I was taught the same thing you did. Don't take or don't, don't take it, basically. And I'm like, hello? Question, question. question. Check mark in the front row. Uh there's already that's already covered like two ago, three ago under thou shalt not steal. Did you, could you beer Google the word covet? Does it actually I state? Did. Does it actually state the the process of thinking about doing it? A or verb. is it yearn to possess or have? They so yearn to possess or have. So it's not even doing anything. It's yearning. It's a it's desire. Yearning. Deep desire. Similar desire. Crave. Have one's heart set on. Because I thought one of the commandments was, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. It is. They, <coughs> excuse me, 10 covers wife, neighbor's goods, blah, blah, blah. It's, a, it's later verses that they cobble it together. Cobble. But the actual commandment is thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's goods. Thy neighbor's goods. But it was also wife and blah, blah, blah. But that's already adultery. You're already, you're already covered under adultery. Yeah, that's why See, I question that. That's why I brought it up. That's why it's even more important stealing and adultery are already covered therefore in my opinion you, they're basically telling you can't even have desires and that is where i draw the fucking don't tell me what i can want it's what i do with it but don't tell me what i can want and not want so if you lived in 1350 and moses came down with this thing you'd be like look bro i'm a libertarian and you fucking can't tell me what the fuck to do so you can fuck off with this shit. <laughs> I'll take three. I'll take three um, of the ten. The rest of them, you gotta you gotta sharpie that shit out, bro. <laughs> no, you just no. Yeah, here's a chisel, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, I probably would have followed them. Because they it's had thirteen this- fucking fifty, bro. What do I? I'm not me. Back then. <sighs> if I went back in time, yeah, I would have led a fucking revolt against that fucking bullshit. Against Moses or the Egyptians? I would have, yes, oh. against Moses. I mean, like, oh, you can talk to an invisible fucking thing. Okay, great. Your <laughs> fucking bush caught on fire. Great. Fucking show them, you know, you're not talking, you know, no. No, let's lead, let's lead the right way. Look, don't kill, don't steal. These things are smart people. We don't need to be, we don't need God to tell us to not do this. Like, let's be honest. We can, we can work through this. I, and that, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I get it. And I think that leads to my point of, where 
I've read a couple articles and I've seen a couple of Joe Rogan videos and stuff about people stating that you need one guy was very adamant that you, a human being, must have Judeo Christian beliefs to lead a good life, to lead a wholesome life. And I was like, uh no, because I don't I don't have any faith. And I'm I told somebody a couple of days ago, I gotta be the nicest atheist in the world. I'm just considerate of other people, and he's like, You are the nicest atheist I've ever met. So because I'm hey, what you know, I'm uh, always spoiler like, alert, a lot of atheists are nice, but you are one of the nicest. Well, but I just a lot of them are that, nice. It's I just think that people go, Oh, you don't have Jesus in your life, you don't have Allah in your life, you don't have Yahweh in your life, whatever. So therefore right. you're missing something and therefore ipto facto, whatever that shit's called. Ipso facto. Ipso, yes. Both of them. Bo you both of, both of them. Therefore you don't, you're not a nice person because you're missing these things. And I'm like, what? That's complete horseshit. So I, yeah. I need, I need a, a, a book written 2000 years ago and a couple of tablets that were written by quote unquote, the finger of God, according to my readings, to tell me how to be a good person? No. Uh, 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 no. I can... I'm pretty doing okay. And I'm I mean, there's, not I'm not perfect rest. and people beg to differ and that's cool. But I think you can lead a very good life as a very good person without any religion. Yeah. But a lot of people disagree with that statement. Right. Um, we have other thoughts about that. I don't want to go down that. Oh, that sorry. Because we can... No, we can have that conversation. <laughs> Because it's true, but a lot of people associate church with community. They were all, everybody in the local area went to the same church, so they all hung out. Like, it was a very, it was a good center for things, for community. It was a really good foundation for community. I get it. But it doesn't mean it has to be for you to still have community. But do I have to have the Ten that's Commandments? The right, that's to, the point. To, to, to show me how to be a good person? You don't need... You don't need God to create the community. You can create a community without God being the one telling you to, to hang out. It's like my parents telling me I must hang out with my brother. Yeah, like, that's, that's not cool, man. I don't really like that. And I don't mean that just specifically with my brother, per se. I'm just no, saying, like, uh, in my, general, whoever. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's just odd. Anyway. So basically, what it says is don't think about t taking. Don't yearn after your neighbor's stuff. Yeah. That includes his wife. I think they include his wife and they kind of, like I said, they, they throw that in under, but it makes sense though. Cause it's like adultery, but it's like, don't even think about it and fuck that. Fuck <laughs> Nike. I'm sorry. This is in 1984. My friends. Well, you know, the thought crime is not a thing. Like do not, how dare you? How dare you? commit me of something bad with thought because we all have thoughts yeah and some are really fucking dark and they and happen before you even realize like boom there it is do you know they're they actually happen like seven seconds before you realize they happen up, oh, like up no to seven i wasn't seconds. aware of the delay there there are actually really interesting thought studies that tell you they can they can tell you what your decision is going to be on something seven seconds before you know what oh, fuck. they read Seconds of the brain. I have to show you that. Maybe we need to do a knock on. You need to write that oh, down. Shit. Where's um, your fucking sharpie, bitch, uh, bro? You got a notepad up in there? No, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull up a little. So a documentation. Uh, what? Are, what's this one? I don't know. It's um, your idea. Thought police. Oh, the EK, the EEG of seven second decision making, the seven second delay of decision making. Yeah. Brain stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go and talk more about this so, whole coveting thing. I guess the, because under that lens, tell me how necessary this is. It's not, but you because you can't stop somebody from thinking something, right? It's just is that person moral and ethical enough to not make a bad decision to to do the right thing, right? So they're telling them not to have impure thoughts. That's not possible. I mean, you can try as best you can. But a human being is still an animal at a core base level with survival instincts, right? So uh, that shit's going to happen. Right. And then you need to go to confession. Oh, well, you know, in the Catholic belief system, I have to go to confession and tell them all my impure thoughts. Yeah, I, I coveted my neighbor's um, new motorcycle. And, oh, yeah. And 
Man, yeah, this I, boat. Hold on. Hold on. Let's okay. stop there. I wanted it really badly. I wanted it. I, no, no, I'm sorry, sir. I yearned. Yeah, I wanted to keep up with the Joneses, and I wanted it. And, I, and I worked harder, the and then I bought one. Whoa. Like, what? So they're suppressing capitalism? That's, that's what I was going to say. But Smurf, I Smurf-tastic. Yearned, Smurf-tastic. I yearned after his boat, Father. Yeah. I, I I'm sorry, Say Father. Say twelve Hail Marys. Please, please, please forgive me, Father, for I sin. I desired his Corvette that he pulled up in. It's so nice looking. Uh, what? Okay, that you're gonna get me for that for a desire? No, it, if it's not acted upon, it's it is not a thing. It can't it can't be like. How many times is somebody? I could kill that guy. I mean, they say it. It's a word. It's just a word, right? No one's ever actually. I mean, somebody's killed somebody, but I mean, like, <laughs> I'm sure you've said I could kill that guy in your head at some point, or oh, like, yeah. I was the head would yeah. explode. Like, yeah, it's, it's figurative. It. It's yes. figurative, not literal. Yes. Right? So, this is basically thought police. Yeah. Once again, control. Like, this is, this just looks like a template, other than those four in the middle. In my opinion, just looks like, hey, there's only me, um, nobody else. Um, don't talk shit about me. Make sh- think about me a full day a week. Um, honor your parents who honor me. Base that's how I interpret that. Um, okay, no killing, no adultery, no stealing, and no lying. Those are fucking great. We need four. I, I don't necessarily agree with you that the first four are a control system. I I I see your point. I don't necessarily agree with that perspective. Um, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. Did Moses write these down? Did God tell Moses? Did, was Moses high? You know, he could have found some what peyote and freaking smoked that shit and been out of his fucking mind. We don't know, right? Obviously, the Bible says what the Bible says, but what really happened, we don't know, and we're never going to know. So, are these truly the words of God that created the universe? Some people believe that. Yeah, right? But I don't necessarily believe that the first three or four is a control system. You have a very good point. And, and I see why you would say that the way they're worded and the way they're grouped together and the way that things were going on at that time and the issue with the golden calf. So I, I get it. I don't necessarily agree, but I get it. I, I'm grateful for that. Okay. Because I want it, I want, I, I will, I, I admire different opinions. I do, I do. I mean, we, how many times have we said, we're always open to our minds changing. Oh yeah, yeah. And when, when we make a decision, we do make it. It's like, it's this or it's that. And then you can change my mind, but it goes back to this. It doesn't some usually go in the middle. It goes back to like, you know what I mean? Yeah. we're pretty de- definitive yeah. people. I pretty much stick my foot in my mouth on a constant basis. Um, but I do admire that. So what, what are your thoughts on the four? Like the first four as a, yeah, as a counter to the, 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 the my opinion on it, what's your opinion about just the general, like feels of it? Like, I know we didn't, we don't know cause we weren't there. Right. Just, right. Like, That's you my thing about, is that, did you know, God really speak to these people? Right. I'm doubting Thomas. So, right. you know, according to the Bible, the, cloud which represented god was over mount sinai and the, the god's voice came out of it and spoke to all the people there not just moses so that's what the bible says whether that's true or not i don't know i mean that very may have happened i have a hard time right. believing that but it may have happened right right so, absolutely may have happened um I, I don't i don't know to answer your question i, I don't the the first three i'm not i, I don't really know you know, when somebody's worshiping a piece of gold, a gold statue, that's kind of weird. But we worship money in a strange way, right? Well, that's so we can idolize anything, and that's right. really what it is. It's don't have idols. I mean, like I said, it could be, a, it could be a house or a car. Yeah, or, right. Like, it could be your job. But then I, I mean, look around and it says we worship false idols, right? And then you look at churches, and they're just regardless of the of the of the denomination it, the, deuteronomy the deuteronomy denomination of the sex that they're just cathedrals they're massive massive 
structures built to honor God, right? What, whichever God is your God, right? And they're adorned with stained glass windows and gold and paintings and all these things, which kind of sounds contradictory to this. The Golden Dome thing really bothers me. What about Touchdown Jesus? I love Touchdown Jesus. You do? No, I don't care. <laughs> um, no, I and I just I just feel like the Golden Dome thing is like, why are you spending money on that? But but then again, we do talk about the beauty that the church brought, and yes, they commissioned those pieces, right? The Gothic cathedrals and the the, the construction of them and everything. But yeah. they are beautiful. Of course. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not right, right. I know. that. No, no, I know. And it, but that's like the weird dichotomy of it. Like, gun to my head, I'm not really a religious person. I'm not a big fan of any church. Right? I'm not. That's, we've ad nauseum discussed that. Yeah. Yet, w I don't know if the, those cathedrals wouldn't have been built and we wouldn't have been able to admire them. Yes. If there wasn't that, if there wasn't a religious system, you're right. you're absolutely correct. So like I and I and I know we talked about it. The you know Michelangelo's date uh, not or the the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, yeah. That was obviously commissioned. But yeah, he was, got paid. Yeah, yeah. If he didn't get paid, he wouldn't have done it for free. Cor and he correct. wouldn't have done it. It would not have been done. Correct. So like the poetry. I mean, some of the literature in the bio, the way it's written is it is a beautiful thing. I oh yeah it's yeah way above of my pay grade. When it comes to like understanding, I'm just saying like, it's, it's pretty impressive, but yeah, to your point. So not a control system. They're just things that are right. They're just make sense to put in there. How many would you have all in all? Uh, four, wait, hang on. He's counting, ladies and gentlemen. Four. Okay. Which ones? Well, the first three would be combined. Okay. Um. But see, I feel like, are they different things? No, they're I know all they're the fucking all, same shit. Are they the same shit, really? That's my opinion. Okay. Okay. I, I, all, no, I definitely see They're it. all related to, yeah. oh, God, God, there's one God. Okay. Got and it. you should be respectful of that God. Yeah. And then that's it. Got it. Yeah. One God, nobody else. No graven images, yeah, you know, shit. Like, I'm curious what graven. I mean, does it mean engraved? I'm assuming. I don't know. Created? It sounds like a bad word. Like it's a negative connotation. Right, well, I'm thinking like grave. Like, oh, like going to your grave. It's okay. Just weird. I, mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd have those three combined into one. The uh, I don't care about keeping the holy day, the Sabbath, whatever. Okay, I mean, so I under, I do understand that the fourth commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I understand that. In the Bible, when God created the universe, excuse me, the seventh day he rested. So that's why it's there is to honor God because that's God also rested on the seventh day. So I, I get it. I, I understand the logical nature behind it, you know? Okay. But I'd rather watch golf and drink beer. So one, two, and three is one. Yes. Then four's gone. Four's gone. Five's okay. gone. Five's gone. Okay. Um, so. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, and thou shalt not steal are left in. Okay, that's three. Four. No, what about lying? You don't want to put in lying? I'm just curious. I mean, that's just fucking common sense, dude. It's just like, don't be a dick. Same shit. Yeah, but if God says it, it's much more powerful than sure, yeah. common sense. Well, I mean, you would think, right? God, if God did speak to them or they thought they did, that he, that God did, he, she, it, they, them, there i don't know what god is i i don't know i need to get a shovel for you bro <laughs> uh, why i don't know what god, i don't know what god is um none of us do it's not human i can tell you that th that much of it is right thing so how would we probably possibly uh you know anamorphize it or whatever yeah or make it human what's a human thing whatever sure what you said <clears throat> personification yeah know. yeah yeah anyway um yeah so you okay so you got one two and three is one Four, five are gone. Six, seven, and eight you're keeping. Yeah. So that's four. All right. Not uh, worried about lying. Um, it's okay. I I'm, guess I could do 4.5, sub-article seven, paragraph you're gonna, D. You're going to hate the ones I'm going to keep. Okay. I think I'm, I keep five. I keep five, six, seven, five, eight, and nine. 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven. Okay. And the, and the reason I do the father and mother is because back then it was just such a had to be thing. It's just that kept everybody together. It really, I mean, it really did start with family. As as shitty as family is or was or could be, it always was. You know, the guy who provided for you also beat you. Okay, it's pro- you know, probably what happened. Yeah. You, you know, it sucks. Yeah. But it's like you get, if you're trying to start a civilization or start trying to keep people together, you got to start with that connection. A somehow. basic foundation. Yeah, and I just feel like that's a good foundation. If I, if I were to. If God were to tell me them, th- that's what he would have told me. You'd make a great Moses, dude. I have 15, 10, 5, 5 commandments. <laughs> and I apologize because I was going to bring my mm. dog's Pope outfit, his Halloween outfit, and he's got the Pope hat. Can you put it on the Insta? It looks super. I look awesome in it. Put it on the. Oh, you look. I like, was going to yeah. wear the we'll Pope hat. We'll take a picture and add it so to the Insta. I'll, I'll do that. Tonight. I apologize. I was going to bring yeah. it and wear it today. And I think you can do it on Twitter now. Can't you do stories and bullshit at the top? I, you can. They, so, like, you might have to do double duty, man, because I've been working hard. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> duty. So that's been the 10. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I think 5, 6, 7, and 8, and 9 are perfect. But, like, the first parts just don't resonate with me at all. Back then, they probably would have because, obviously, you know, I'm a slave that just got that just found my freedom. I think I'll, go, I'll stick with the freedom. So whatever control has to be put on me for me to keep my freedom. How weird is that? Yeah. How, how yeah. weird is that? You don't even think about it that way, do no, you? No, but it's another But it's true. It's a, it's a different type of slavery. Right. It is a voluntary is a voluntary desire to work within a community versus being owned by someone. That that's totally cool. I'll accept that. Yeah. Right? I'll accept that. And that's a beautiful thing. Cuz like community is great. I wish I felt more like that. I feel always like the outcast. That sounds familiar. Yeah. So Anyway, so that's been the Ten Commandments. Get out of the um, I hope we looked at it very, like, straightforward without too much angst and whatnot because we, we just want to look at stuff, and that's why I brought you on. I'm glad you had a different viewpoint. Uh, thank you so much for having that. Uh, may we have your Jerry Springer final thought moment, Dealey Heimerschmidt? Or no? Yeah, I think, yeah, darn it, I probably lost it. But oh, basically, I think, dude. I think it was this. This guy just brought all these people out. He needed to keep them together. This is his way. If I could get God, you know, if I can convince them that God speaks to only me and that he's the only one and I can buy, they can buy that and I can buy that they don't have any competitors (laughs) and I can, if I can sell that they shouldn't talk shit about him and if I can sell that they should at least honor him at least once a week by thinking about them all day. And if they can keep the familiar structure together, given the other ones in there, I think I can keep us all together on as a civilization. I don't think it was ill intent per se, but sometimes, sometimes you do like, we still live in a civilization. We give up certain freedoms because we do realize that some of our freedoms come at a cost. Like if I wanted to murder someone, my pursuit of happiness, kill or murder, (laughs) kill. Sorry, oh, okay. if I were to kill someone. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Is well, it war time? I, I guess, I don't, I don't know if the- You gotta be very specific, de- dude. I don't know what the definitions are. They, they know more than we did. What? Or we do. 13, 1300 BC, they knew more than, than I do right now. Oh. But if I were to kill and that made me happy, my pursuit of happiness, it's precluded by- Yeah. Taking away that person's pursuit of right. happiness. It's, it's very simple. It makes it so simple. It's like, very libertarian of them. Yeah, it's very simple as- do not take away another's pursuit of doing what they want to do. Yeah. Or whatever. So I don't definitely know. whatever. But I appreciate your time, sir. I know this was, a, this was a, for me, this was fun. Cause I liked, I like kind of dissecting, getting inside the mind of someone 3,300 years ago, translated in allegedly one language, sir. Is that what you were told? I was told it was translated, translated once. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't necessarily <clears throat> Believe we, that. Yeah. Do we want to try to get, get this gentleman with us? Yeah, absolutely. I would, I would totally do it, man. I, I'm going to send this I, to him. I'll and I'm going to, okay. and I'm wondering because your, your point about the first four being a control system and the last one, I wonder what his response to that would be. So I'm very, very curious. Well, you disagree. 
So I can imagine well, I the level that he disagrees. I, 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 Does that make sense? Yes. I'm not. It's not a bad thing. That I you definitely disagree. see your point. You know, I, right. I, 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 I could. You at least give it a consideration. Oh yeah, and I'm on the fence. Right, but you give it a consideration. Absolutely, and I don't feel like we would get that same. But I, I perhaps we will. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I you. I don't know. Yeah, it well, would be. be nice. I would be very interested to see um, that. Sorry, I suck at the video sometimes, but it's I'm okay, very man. curious. I just want to see your beautiful face. Hi, there. everybody. We're gonna Hello, keep it on you. Uh, I would be very curious what everybody else thinks. You know what? It does Chuck Mark have a point about the the control systems? It, uh, why are there ten commandments? Should there be less? Should there be more? What it, what what was missed? W you know why is the I thought for sure cover the neighbor's wife was in there and it's not. So what happened? Did I, <laughs> did they lose one? So it's, it got lost on, in the desert. I went on Wiki and it's got like fourteen or fifteen. I'm like, how the fuck did this happen? What? Yeah, it's just weird. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I, I did read that there are ten because it is easy to memorize. I, I, I'm not kidding. I didn't, I'm not making that well, up. Well, the number is an even. It's just yes, an even number. Correct. And it's true. I mean, look. I think we did this just so we could tell everybody to watch George Carlin. Because uh, <laughs> uh, his bit about the Ten Commandments is stellar. It well, is yeah, and I'm gonna best. go home and I'm gonna buy an iTunes History of the World Part One oh. by the amazing. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Because I may just, have it here. I what? May give, I may be able to give it to yes. you. Yes. Or let you borrow at least. Yeah, it's just so, there's so many funny parts. It is fucking it's hilarious. hilarious. Dom DeLuise is Julius Caesar. It's and he's just, svelte. <laughs> he looks he's good. He's a boy. handsome man. And uh, what's that guy's name? Gregory Peck. Great, not Gregory Peck. When Gregory. Hines? Gregory yeah, Hines. Yeah, no. when he's. Uh, Gregory Hines. Where are you yes, from? Not Peck. Ethiopia. Hines. Which part? 125th Street. <laughs> Every he, and then when he, he goes, was a tap dancer. Yeah, yeah. And when he goes, Hey Josephus, hey motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I just crack up. Every, I love that it's history of the world part one. Part one. There's no part two. There's it's not just been a part hysterical. Two. And they have the French Revolution. Oh, we have this stupid accent. Inquisition. What a Spanish show. Inquisition. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Man. But I, I seriously, yeah. I would love to hear what everyone else thinks. Yes, you know, get, leave us a comment on Please. the Podbean or the iTunes or the Spotify and other platforms that I don't know very well. And mm -hmm. once again, if, whether we agree with you or not does not matter. We are truly interested in hearing what you have to share. Like it, we'll give everyone a voice. Yeah. I mean, that's the point. It's not, it's, I, I know we, you and I talked about the whole platform thing, and it's just like, no, we're just letting people express themselves freely. This, this country's founded on the freedom of expression. If we can't just ha allow people to talk with people we d only agree with, it just gets ugly, and I don't boring. like it. Yeah, it's boring as fuck. That's why, that's why I bring you on, man, because you're, you're different in a different way than I am. I'm boring in a different way, and as I say in every podcast, are we totally full of shit? Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Rate. Uh, subscribe. Review. Download. Uh, uh, please other, rate. Can other you rate stuff. and review us? Can you please go on the app? Checkmark is freaking the fuck out because we only have 31 30 comments. 30. I, I read 30. 30 comments. And we have 29 comments. Correct. We got 6,500 downloads. 6,433 downloads as of this and mouse click. 29 <laughs> Not that I'm counting comments and he's freaking. We need more comments. It's, it's so funny. It's just, well, the thing is. What a, what a great audience. I, I don't know if everyone knows how important comments are or just rate, just the review system. Just getting a tick mark of any kind in that way. Obviously, we don't like bad reviews, but. Tell us how we can well, be yeah, better. But if we can, exactly, Engage with us. Yeah, if we're, if we're, we, yeah, how can we be better? And that's when I'm, that's people ask me like, hey, you, somebody asked me, you listen to your own podcast? Yeah. Why? That's weird. I go, because I want to get better. I, I want to listen to how do I get better every single time we record? How do I become more articulate? How do I become more professional? How do I not interrupt you? How do I, do, you know, every single, how do I become better at everything? That's, because everything's a learning process, right? I want to be better at everything. So that's why I do it. And, you know, sometimes I take notes and try to improve on things and make a conscious effort because I know I speak too fast. Slow down, take a breath, calm the fuck down. Back to checkmark. All right. Um, and with that said, that was so beautifully said. Thank you. 
Yeah, to your point, I listened to it once. Yeah, to Tambien. And very critically. Very critically. I don't do that critically. I, I just, I, I know how I will guarantee that the word SO has not been said to an, any extent. But you remember when RQ was said? That's real quick, everybody. I said <laughs> that. And I, I, if I may, before we end this, yeah, I feel a little sad that we weren't as polished or I certainly was not as prepared in the conversation side for Tyson's thing. With yeah, the it sucks. Church. Well, same because with me, it, dude. We, it, but the good news is it was real and raw, but I, I also wish like we could revisit it sometime, but I don't know how we can do it the way it just was so re- raw and real and emotional. But I feel so, I, f- we, I was not prepared speaking why. Like we've, we're, f- today's five months. Yeah. Today's five months. We have no shit, huh? recorded like 60 of these. Six zero. 51 are out. Whoa. To, uh, Friday and two days will be 52. That's, um, that's crazy. Beyond any wildest expectation. Thank you so much to everyone who has given us a listen. Talk to the camera, bro. Thank you to everyone who's given us a listen. We're so grateful. Checkmark's grateful. I'm only... Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, also, yeah. Thank you. So <laughs> close it out for us, sir. Tell us what we need to do before we go. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. <laughs>